Now, yes, one of the key features which I looked personally in the deep tech startup policy 2023 document was that it did focus on connecting academia with startups, especially, right? Something that's been talked about in the last five, six years. Another area that I'm personally very, very uh, enthused to see India rise, and I feel there's a big potential for India to do so, that's about quantum technologies, right? What do you think of the mission's potential in my to make India a global leader in quantum research? Let's say we have now democratized access to space tech, which was earlier limited only to the government. You now have private sector startups coming and innovating in space tech, and uh, we need a million engineers by 2030. That's what I had put across on space tech. Uh, when you had a limited scope, uh, you could look at space tech as okay, I might end up in an ISRO, but Today, you have startups emerging and, and same holds true for deep tech, quantum tech and all of it that mm-hmm. we need to get this somewhere into the schooling system as well. Mm-hmm. Going back to your question on uh, quantum technologies and the national mission on quantum technologies, I think this is huge for a government to announce such stuff. And more importantly, see, India has a potential to lead the world, I feel, in quantum computing and mm-hmm. things like the national mission on quantum technologies. Uh, can position India as a key player because they will be uh, because this is, seeks to invest both in what you call fundamental research and as well as the application layer. Mm-hmm. And more importantly, I think the mission is quite forward looking because it also tries to bring together what we call all the resources, talent, and and it does talk about the academia, government, and private sector collaboration. Mm-hmm. And and there are a lot of Indian quantum computing startups also, which are emerging, which is pretty interesting because if you look at that data, uh, I'm, I'm intrigued to see like last week I was speaking on AI and we have 6,600 uh, startups which have emerged in AI alone. So okay. uh, we are seeing, a, I would say, quantum jump in quantum technologies as well, uh, yeah. because now the startup ecosystem is gathering uh, and picking up these new emerging tech areas. The government's investment is in quantum computing can also lead to a lot of breakthroughs because fields like cryptography, healthcare, material science, all of that, uh, the policy is a game changer, I would say, for startups who are exploring quantum tech uh, because there can be institutional backing that can come through this national mission. And uh, more and more startups, we can see them emerge in this space.